Hello friends and welcome back. I'm Robin if you happen to be new. In today's video, I'm going to be decorating our fireplace area for Christmas. This is one of my favorite areas in the home to decorate. And as you can see, I pretty much have everything cleared out of the area. The Christmas tree has already been decorated along with a couple of other areas which you saw me decorate in my previous video. If you happen to have missed that last week, I'll leave that video linked below in my description box. Before we get too much feather, guys, let me apologize for my voice. If you follow me over on Instagram, you know my son got married this past weekend, and the day after his wedding, I woke up with a really bad head cold, so as I'm doing this voiceover, I'm not much better, so please overlook my terrible voice today. Okay, so I'm going to real quickly wipe down the mantle. I used the spray away glass cleaner to wipe off the mirror and the wood for good daily cleaner to wipe down the mantle. This berry garland I picked up from my friend Sky. She owns an online home interior decor shop called House and Home and I'll put her link down below in my description box. Once I got the berry garland up, I realized that it was kind of short, so I did put two picks to the right and the left of the mantle to make it a little bit fuller. I didn't do that on camera, but you'll be able to see that in a minute that I did add those in. And just to continue with that green color that I used in my Christmas tree, I'm going to layer this mirror here with this beautiful green sign that I picked up from Kirkland's last year that says it's the most wonderful time of the year. I'm going to put back my clock because I really have to have a clock in the living room. So I'll add that back in. Then you're going to see me add a wreath. It's got lots of berries in it. And I picked this up last year from Kirkland's. And to me, it's just the perfect wreath to go here above this fireplace. I'm going to add these really pretty candlesticks. One says peace and one says joy. And then you're going to see me add this beautiful deer that has this berry collar around its neck. I picked up the candlesticks and the deer from our local Lowe's Home Improvement Center. They have such beautiful, unique Christmas items. If you haven't shopped there, you've got to stop by and check out their home decor items for Christmas. And then these two cloth trees that you see here I actually picked these up from house and home from Sky last year and I just love them they have a really pretty wood bottom to them and I just love using a wood element in my decoration Then I'm going to add these two little white ceramic trees also that I picked up. I think I got these from Target. So lots of white going on here in the mantle and I think it just really makes those berries pop. And for one last pop of color, I'm going to add two red candles to these candlesticks. I really want some red LED lights to go here. I just haven't bought any yet. I know my friend Ashley, her channel is called Busy Little Blondies, posted some red LED lights in her last video. I believe that she picked off of Amazon. So I'm going to go on there and try to get those LED candles and replace these real candles. But for the time being, the real candles look really pretty lit up in here. On this cold December day, we are on our merry way, riding along just singing a song, barreling through the snow, bells are jingling, snowflakes tingling, Rudolph knows where to go, on this cold all right, as you watch me put together two of these white flock trees and add some twinkle lights to them, let me introduce myself really quickly to anyone that's new to my channel. 
My name is Robin. I'm married to my husband, Derek. We are both empty nesters. We have three grown children and four grandchildren. I'm pretty much a typical homemaking channel. I love to bring you guys along with me when I'm cleaning up and keeping my house tidy. I love to decorate my home throughout the year and especially during the holiday seasons. So you'll find lots of cleaning motivation and lots of decorating inspiration here on my channel. So if that's content that you think you'll be interested in, I'd love for you to take a second and hit that subscribe button. Also, I have an Instagram account. It's at Robin Lane Low. I'll leave that here on the screen. I would love for us to follow each other over on that platform. It's a really good way to get to know each other. Also, if you happen to hit the subscribe button while you're watching this video today, I would love for you to take a second and leave me a comment in the comment section, maybe what your name is and where you're from. Okay guys, aren't these jingle bells just gorgeous? We have some really good friends, David and Charlotte, that own a trade days here in our hometown. And she always has the cutest stuff there. So I saw these jingle bells on one of her live videos on Facebook. I told her to hold them for me. And I think they look perfect here on this blanket ladder. Keeping it very simple here, just adding a really chunky white blanket, these gorgeous jingle bells, and a berry wreath. Cold December day. Okay, now I'm going to change up this corner just a little bit. I've had that fake plant there for quite some time, and I was just kind of over it. I picked up a really pretty parlor palm that I'm going to stick over here in this corner and then put back my normal house plants that I always have over here. I like to keep them in that wicker tray just to kind of, to me, it makes them look more put together and more intentional, and I love the way that wicker basket makes this area look. And then just to complete this area and add another little touch of red to this corner, I'm going to put this pretty little fern that I picked up from Lowe's. And now just to add something between these two trees, I'm going to add this gorgeous wicker basket that I picked up from Kirkland's probably two or three years ago. And I love to decorate it for all the different seasons. And to pretty much complete this area and add some more white, I'm going to add these gorgeous ceramic white trees that I know that I've had for probably five years that came from Hobby Lobby. And guys, I couldn't be more happier with this fireplace area. It's white and with touches of red, and it's so cozy. And you can see my fireplace area when you walk in my front door, and it looks so good from the front door. So let me know in the comment section what your favorite part of the fireplace is. If you saw my video last week, you saw that I have that one tree that I added here to this area and I wasn't really happy with the way it didn't fill up this entire area. So I got that tree off of Amazon and I went back and picked up a smaller one to go here also. And um, I think it just kind of completes this area and fills it up the way I really wanted it to look. And then I'm just going to add back in the two cute little presents that I got from Kirkland's last year. I have another one of those presents. I just can't find it anywhere. So. Then I'm going to light a candle and we're going to be done with the living room for today.
Okay, so my Christmas tree is now decorated. My fireplace area is completed. This will be my last project right here. And then I'll have my living room completely decorated for Christmas. Okay friends, I'm gonna do some quick vacuuming. I'm gonna show you some really great after shots and then I'm gonna call it a day. I appreciate you so much if you're still watching my video. You tremendously help out my channel when you watch my videos all the way to the end. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That small gesture helps out this video so, so much. Please let me know in the comment section what your favorite part of the video was today. Be looking forward to that last little area in my living room that I'm going to decorate. And then I'll have some kitchen decorating for you guys coming up. I appreciate you so much for watching. I appreciate you so much for commenting. I just am overwhelmed by the support that I have. I've almost reached 2,500 subscribers. That is phenomenal. And I appreciate each and every one of you guys that come back every week, watch my videos to the end, and always leave me a comment. You know who you are. The only reason I have a channel is because of you. And I'm greatly, greatly thankful. Okay, guys. I'll end it here. And I'll see you next week. Bye.